Hey, welcome to this channel and um, today I want to show you four critical things that will help you uh, grow your business better. There are four things and these four things are missing in most businesses and if you stick with me, I'm going to show you how to correct these four things in your business. My name is Joy Akinlulu and I'm welcoming you to this channel where we talk about money, business and real estate. It's more of an education, we want to help you, help you better than what you can get even when you pay for it. So if you like this content, please kindly comment below in the comment section so that other people will also see this um, video or if it is possible like share with your friends so let us dive straight into these four things number one inconsistent client inflow inconsistent client inflow what i mean by this is that most business owners today have a way in which they bring in clients but you notice that those client inflow is not always regular Number two is loss of customer. Now, in most businesses, we focus on getting clients and pay little attention to keeping the client. Now, if your business can be able to bring in clients, bring in prospects, convert them to clients, then ensure that you can keep them you will make more money than your competitors do number three is frequency at which you communicate with your client incentives you give to them and also the way what you do to make them buy more from you number four is cash management a lot of people today do not have problem with making money, but they have problem with keeping the money, spending the money wisely, or actually building wealth from that. So let us look at how you can solve these four key problems. Number one is do not do a fire brigade way of bringing in clients. It does not work for your business. You need to have a consistent way of getting clients through the door. If you are using the online platform, never let your prospecting stop. And what happens is a lot of us do paid advert alone, forgetting that you can do it as either organic or paid advert. Now, if it is organic, it means that you are turning out content like I'm doing now. You're turning out content, you're turning out uh, videos, audios, articles, blog, white paper, ebooks, so that you keep in the face of people. Or if you're running paid advert, you want to keep doing it so that your inflow of prospect do not stop. Because one thing is, if it does stop, then it also affects your cash flow. Then another thing that will also help you to get more customers is what you do with your delivery. Now, I've seen this happen a lot with many businesses. When cash exchange and when they have the money, they care less about the customer. They don't deliver so well, so the customer is not happy, then the customer looks for someone else. But at the same time, some people do a very good job with their delivery, but they fail at doing one thing. Like I used to tell some of my I used to tell my client that delivery is one of the ways you can one re-emphasize that your client have made a good decision from buying from you. Two, prove to them that you are the best client, you are the best person they need to buy for and give them an offer for them to buy again. 
So even if they are not buying again, they are going to bring in their friends who are going to come and become your client. Now, do you, you know what happens when people take a delivery? They sit down and carefully open it. Even when their friends are there, they want to see what is inside the package. They want to see, okay, open it, open it, let me see, let me see, let me see. Now, everybody is interested in the content. Now, imagine if a sales letter is added to your delivery. It will, in effect, bounce back on getting you more clients. I hope you understand that part. The second one is what do you do to keep your clients? If you can be the only one that can keep your client, the better for you. Now, let me give you a reason. When a client buys from you for the first time, is buying based on the fact that, oh, I'm not sure of what I'm buying. No. Hmm. I hope that I'm not just wasting money here. So each time a new client is buying from you, is buying out of fear, is buying out of, okay, let me test them out. Let me see what happens. Now, if you can do everything to keep that client, if the client spends one million naira with you in the beginning, the likelihood of him spending 10 million naira with you when he trusts you is always there. So don't play with the fact that you want to ensure that your customers stays with you. It's very important. Number three. The number three one happened to be the kind of communication you have with your client. Now, if you want to communicate with your client, never do a combined communication or the generalistic communication. You want to keep each client into his own pocket. You can have pocket A for people that are just trying you out, pocket B for people that are buying from you but are not buying too well, pocket C for your loyal customers. That means the message you send to pocket A will be different from the message you send to pocket B and will also be different from the message you send to pocket C. Now, this is it. The message you're sending to those in pocket A is to tempt them to join the people in the pocket B. And the message you're sending, sending to the pocket B is for them to become a loyal client. And the message you're sending to pocket C is, we love you, but we want you to give us people like you. That is a different message, and it makes you stand out from everybody in your industry. What I've just described now is something that many people don't even pay attention to. Then the last one, which is cash management. Like I said in the beginning of this video, most business owners do not have problem in making money. They make money, but they look at themselves at the end of a month and like say, where did this money go to? Where is all this money? Where did it go to? I don't just know. But the point is this. Many business owners like you have not gone to the level where they can differentiate their business as an entity and they themselves as an entity. You who owns the business should be an entity. Your account should not be the same thing with your business account. It must be different. And that's why we normally tell business owners, pay yourself salaries. Even when you go to places you want to uh, maybe you are trying to get a grant or a support or something, the question always comes up. How much do you pay yourself every month? Now, I, I'm going to do a video that explains on how do you even know how much you pay yourself. But get this right, that suppose you have to bring in a staff to replace you right now to do what you are actually doing in your business now, how much will you pay that individual? Then pay yourself that amount. Because most of the time I hear exorbitant amount that some business owner pay themselves. And I'm like, wow, you're killing this business because at the end of the day, whatever profit this business is making, you're still going to share from it. So don't 
over labor the business by paying yourself too much. Then another thing in terms of payment is most of us do not even know how to manage our inflow and our outflow. Many times I've seen business owners who compare themselves with their friends who are collecting salaries. They want to live large life like them. They want to live like the way they are living. Now imagine I could have come to you on this video with suit and tie and try to impress you maybe with a car, a Porsche car and all this. The truth is real entrepreneurs do not impress with what they have. They don't have a time. They're very busy. So the truth is grinding is important. Do not compare yourself with your friends who are working as a salary and elsewhere because they whether they work or not the money will come two many of them are on loans and you don't have an access to that as a business owner uh, you only have access to what you have right now so don't put too much meal on your plate now I hope these four things helps you so well I hope you get the message I'm trying to pass across have a steady flow of customers, have a way of keeping your customers, change the way you communicate with your customers and manage your money wisely. If you can do this, your business will be different and will not be the same. My name is Joy Akilulu. If you love what you've heard so far, please like, comment below and if it is possible, share with your friend so that we can have more people watching this channel i welcome you to this family if you're if you're just becoming a family i love you from the bottom of my heart thank you so much my name once again is joy Akindu.